How do we get to net zero? This question is at the heart of the climate crisis and demands a global response. That's why we're working to influence policy at all scales, partnering with countries, industries and international organisations to help them achieve low carbon futures. The goals of the Paris Climate Agreement are clear. To avoid runaway climate change, we have to limit global warming to below 2 degrees centigrade compared to pre-industrial levels. To achieve this, a third of the planet's oil reserves, half of its gas reserves and more than 80% of coal reserves need to stay in the ground. These were the findings of our research, published in Nature in 2015. It made headlines and its impacts can be seen in the actions that companies and investors have taken to divest themselves from fossil fuels. Financial institutions are now changing their investment strategies and rethinking the financial consequences of holding onto these stranded assets. But this is only one half of the equation. How do we change the industries that rely on fossil fuels? Industries like global shipping, which is responsible for 2 to 3% of total man-made emissions. The UCL Energy Institute Shipping Group is using models to help the shipping industry understand the commercial risks of doing nothing and how it can decarbonize in a cost-effective way. The evidence has empowered island nations in the Pacific at risk from sea level rise to successfully campaign for radical change and influenced other nations to take progressive negotiating positions too. The result has been a commitment by the UN International Maritime Organization to reduce greenhouse gas emissions by at least 50% by 2050 compared with 2008 levels. This is a radical shift in perspective for an industry which currently depends on fossil fuels and another example of how research can help to tackle the climate crisis. We're working with our research partners to help build a better future.